This is uh, Dr. Abraham Weisfeld speaking in France and presenting the uh, declaration that has been composed by various collectives on an international scale. This is a joint declaration of support and solidarity for anti-racism revolt. Hello, comrades and siblings from around the globe. This is a message of support and solidarity from several unified collectives and individuals of ethnically diverse international socialists and progressives of faith, inspired by the Abrahamic religions to work together for a better world. Recently, the ongoing issue of racist violence and police lynchings has resurfaced in the international public consciousness, sparked by the extra juridical murders of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Ahmaud Arbery in Georgia, Drijon Sean Reed in Minneapolis, and Breonna Taylor of Louisville at the hands of white militants and police. This form of violence has been ongoing since the onset of colonialism and chattel slavery over 500 years ago. Despite the attempts of the white supremacist ruling class to conceal this issue, public awareness has become more widespread thanks to technology and the efforts of black activists and their allies to bring attention to this issue. As socialists and progressives, we are called to address the inequities of civilization. As people of faith, we are called to fight for our justice, uphold the God-given rights of all peoples, and safeguard the vulnerable. Through slavery, Jim Crow laws, voter suppression, economic inequality, educational inequalities, to systematic violence, the white supremacist ruling class has long subjected black and brown people on an international level. Black America has never been treated equitably by white European America. In a nation where, according to the Washington Post's official counter, approximately 1,252 black people have been shot by police since the 1st of January 2015. How can any black person be safe? The anti-black violence happening in America and throughout the world is inexorably linked to other acts of racist, ethnocentric, and intolerant terrorism committed by white oppressors throughout the world, such as the recent anti-Semitic massacres of synagogues in America and Germany, the anti-Muslim attacks on a Majid in New Zealand, the killings and imprisonment of Latin American refugees at the American border, the ongoing disappearings, sexual assaults, and murders of the indigenous people of the Americas, the anti-Semitic police killings in Phoenix, Arizona, the ongoing lethal occupation of Palestine at the hands of the Zionist occupation, the multinational attacks on Kurds, as well as countless other atrocities. <coughs> Protesters taking to the streets in order to promote justice and fight inequality are also targeted by racist violence. A number of protesters have been intentionally hit by cars and in some cases have died. Police and white militants have also assaulted and killed a number of protesters throughout the United States. In Seattle, the city government instructed police officers to turn off their body cameras to conceal the use of deadly force. As the violence escalates towards black and brown people, the politicians and media largely condemn the fight for justice and try to suppress public knowledge of these attacks. President Trump threatened on Twitter, Facebook, and a public address inside the White House Rose Garden to have protesters killed. The National Guard has been activated to suppress the movement for justice, a lethal tactic historically used to further militant and state-sanctioned oppression in the United States and abroad. Support from people throughout the world is needed in order to help save the lives of oppressed people struggling for liberation. As people of faith and members of a prophetic, revolutionary, Jewish, Christian, and Muslim movement, that spans many ages and all continents, we are inspired by the example of Moses, who organized his people to rise up against the ruling class of slave owners led by Pharaoh. We are inspired by Elijah, who called his people to rise up against the dictator Achshav and his ideologues, who were the prophets of Baal. We were inspired 
By Jesus, who rioted against the commercial elite in the temple and against the Roman Empire that occupied Palestine. We are inspired by Mohammed, who organized his comrades and the oppressed and exploited masses of the Arabian Peninsula to rise up against the power of the ruling Kusari Shi elite. Just as the prophets rebelled against the idolatrous law of their age, the worshipping of rulers as gods, the propaganda portraying, portraying the hierarchy of society as divinely ordained, the justification of oppression and slavery by calling it the will of the gods, so we must too call out the idolatry of today. The worship of wealth and power, the veneration of banks and stock exchanges, the seemingly almighty status of financial institutions. These are the modern equivalents of the kings and slave lords that the prophets rose up against. And in accordance with their example, we must continue this hallowed Abrahamic tradition and fight against oppression and injustice in our time and place. Our Creator calls us to fight injustice and inequality and to protect human life. As socialists and progressives, who strive to create a world which protects the inherent rights and freedoms bestowed by our Creator's mercy upon us all, we have an obligation to support the fight for justice and liberty for black and brown people in the United States of America and across the globe. We must do all we can to support and further the struggle for racial justice until all racialized people are free from all forms of imperialistic colonial oppression. We are at our strongest when united in love and in the pursuit of justice. Our prayers, our support, and our solidarity in every way possible are with the people of color in America and across the world. Our collective stand with racialized people in America and throughout the world. Black Lives Matter. This declaration is available in other languages in Deutsch, Espanol, Francais, Italiano, and Nederlandish. There is a list of collectives and individuals who have endorsed this joint declaration, which is found at the uh, website address, which is, without any spaces, I announce the address as being Joint Solidarity Message 2020.noblogs Dot org. I can also read to you the uh, names of the collectives which have endorsed this joint declaration. The Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians, Black Dawa Network, Compassion Centered Islam Network, Jewish Bundes Diaspora Movement, JPLO, the Jewish People's Liberation Organization, Mecca Institute, Nuova Resistenza, the El Tawhid Unity Mosque, Toronto, Canada, the online communities of the ESCA Tological Postings, Progressive Muslims Facebook community, Jewish Comrades for Socialism, Muslims for Socialism, Rebuild Christians for Socialism, and a number of individuals, Alejandro Manzano from Mexico, Bach Jonkers, Belgium, Imam Dair Abdullah, United States of America, Jules Espijo, Canada, Kevin Morgan, Canada, Red, Swar Red Wars Wasp, or Corneille Larno in Belgium. Thanking you for your attention and directing you to the websites to be able to copy and share this declaration to make us all stronger. Thanking you very much for hearing us today. And I would reiterate that in order to uh, be liberated, one must struggle to be victorious over th our various oppressions. Thanking you again. Bye for now.